And welcome back to Ozarks Live. It's time once again for Book Club, and Matt Hansen joins us now from the Republic branch of the library. Matt, thanks for being here. Hey, thanks for having me. Thanks uh, for having me. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so we've got two books we want to get through. So this first one is called Mistborn, and this is a fantasy novel by Brandon Sanderson. So tell me a little bit about this. So <clears throat> this is uh, came out in the mid-2000s, mm -hmm. and it's one I feel like reinvigorated the fantasy genre. With Brandon Sanderson's prose, he really was able to make it so that you feel like mm -hmm. you're in this world, you feel like you're powerful as these characters. It's all centered around a heist, and there's these, there's these characters who are called Mistborns. Yeah. They, they're able to control all these types of metals and all do all these powers. And it's just a really fun adventure. Really, <clears throat> I would recommend it for like teens and above, but yeah, okay. it's really a really fun book. Okay, would you say it's like an easy read or a fast read, or may it take you a little longer? Oh, it's an easy read. I was breezing through this. It's a 500 plus page book, but I was breezing through it like in a couple of days. Yeah, okay, yeah. so definitely like perfect for summer right now when people Absolutely. just need something to read and Absolutely. something to do. Okay, cool. Now, what's something that may surprise people about the book without giving too much away? So the way the magic is done in the book, it's it's not someone waves their hand and something happens. There yeah. is a give and take with the magic. It influences real world. It sets up all the rules and then proceeds to show how the rules are laid mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. it, the magic system was really one of the things I enjoyed about the book. Okay, yeah. very cool. So aside from the magic system, what's the thing that you love about this book and that others oh, will love? The characters and the dialogue. The okay. main character, Kelsier, he is just very witty, mm -hmm. but he has this really tragic backstory and you're just like, you're rooting for him, you're wanting him to take on this heist, yeah. but when you find out what happens, you're like, you, you root for him even more. Okay, very good. Now, this second one we have is a horror novel called The Fisherman by John Langan. What do I need to know about this one? So this one, even though this one is shorter, it's the pros are heavier. Okay. It's, it feels like you're getting into the muck, like, like mm -hmm. in the swamp. And this one is a cosmic horror. It's, there's one story about the main character, Abraham. Mm -hmm. He is, his wife had just died, and he tries to find an obsession. He finds fishing. A uh, co-worker of his, similar tragedy happens, and then they both go fishing. The, there's this weird fishing hole, and he gets told this story. Yeah. The second part of the book is the story of why this place is weird, and it concludes with Abraham's story. Things uh. get really creepy, really sus in it, <laughs> but it's really fun in the end, yeah. and it's has one of the most unnerving endings I've read. Okay, now I've always been curious, like what do you think the appeal of a horror novel is? Cause for me, oh. I'm like, I don't really wanna be freaked out when I'm trying to enjoy something I'm reading. You know what I mean? Well, that's uh, the thing about this isn't, it isn't like shocking. There isn't a lot of graphic, yeah. it's the suspense. It's the thing that pulls okay. you. It's like a comedy, mm -hmm. you have the buildup and then you have the payoff and okay. this has really good buildup. Okay, so you, would you say the writing like keeps the reader wanting to come back for more and yes. keep, keep going? Yes, especially in this one. This one was really like the prose really pulled me in the way he made you feel mm. heavy with that dread and the slow burn of the book. Okay. But yeah. Okay, cool. What would you say, I'm just curious as someone that works for the library, like what is your favorite type of genre of books? Oh, horror, fantasy, and science fiction. Okay, so all of this. Yes. Perfect, and would you say, do you see a lot of people still interested in that at the library? Absolutely. Uh, horror has had a resurgence in the last five years and we're getting more and more books being published and more and more people wanting these books because they're so different from what was being put out before. Very cool, yeah. all right. Well, if people wanna come visit you over at the Republic Branch or want more info online, how can they do that? Oh, thelibrary.org. Okay. That's our website, it has all our information there. Or just come on down. Yeah. We have 10 branches within the county. All right, Matt, thanks so much for being here. Thanks, thanks for, for having me. me. All right, coming up on Ozarks Live, we're gonna learn